Guys, I've got a date with over 7,000 plastic pieces. As you can see, there is a lot of pieces on the floor. And that is because I brought this. Yeah! I'm so excited to get this built. So yeah, bit of a different video today. Um, obviously I've got over 7,000 pieces of the UCS Millennium Falcon currently being built in the Lego room and I couldn't be more excited. It's gonna pop up right there. Uh, I'm gonna move some sets around, make it look all awesome. But yeah, I've got to get this thing built. I'm on page 77 out of 461. So compared to like the UCS A-Wing and the UCS X-Wing that I've got, which like that 2000 pieces each, this thing is crazy big. Like this is just the body, like the, you know, the skeleton of the Millennium Falcon. And it's basically gonna take a really long time to build it. So I can't really do many YouTube videos like around this. Good job I've got some like lined up, ready to um, be published or however you wanna upload it onto YouTube. Um, yeah, so I've got a couple of YouTube videos coming out um, as I'm filming this. So it gives me till like the 8th of October. I think the last one is uploaded. Um, yeah, it comes out on the 8th of October. So I've got until then to kind of build as much as of the Millennium Falcon as I can. Maybe do some little bits of YouTube clips and little videos here and there where, you know, I might go to um Lego store and have a look at the Venator and make a little vlog out of that. But there's not actually that much room to kind of do YouTube videos at the moment because of how many pieces are on the floor. My usual setup for the videos is I normally put the desk over there. So it's kind of like gives that a nice backdrop and I put my camera on cinematic mode so it blurs everything and then I'm sat there and it basically just looks really nice and that's how I normally have my setup. But I can't move the table over there because of how many pieces are on the floor. And yeah, this is huge and it's gonna take me a long time. And the pieces are only like this because I brought this second hand for an absolute bargain. 450 quid. Oh yeah. So they built all of this. And then there are like uh, bags 16, 17 still sealed in the bag as well. Um, never mind the boxes. I'm just trying to sell some sets and yeah, Star Destroyer is getting sold and Little Millennium Falcon is going to get sold. So yeah, these are like my parcel boxes. So ignore them. It looks like an absolute mess. So while I'm building this, I thought this video could be like a little prep. Um, I'm probably going to prep the shelves and make them look cool, like ready for the Falcon to sit there because at the moment this is a bit of a mess and the falcon can't sit there because of yeah the mess right let's go sort these shelves out it's really frustrating because with my with my ocd i don't like too much on the shelves and i'm starting to already think that there are too much on the shelves so what was my idea would be cool to have like, just like a, you know, rebel rebellion sort of area. So the Falcon would go up there, Nebulon, X-Wing and A-Wing, but then you've got Boba Fett ship there, which I could always swap out for something else. And, or just have this completely as like a big UCS shelf. Um, but then to fit the Nebulon and A-Wing on there, it's not possible with the X-Wing unless I put the shelf back up there and then raise that up a bit more. So, but then I really like the Nebulon and I don't want it sat down there with the A-Wing. So I'm just trying to think what the best solution for this is because yeah, with my OCD, I think this is a little bit too much at the moment. This sort of makes sense in my head. Um, so we've got the Ahsoka series sets up there, all my brickheads up there. Then we go into the TIE Fighters and the sort of Imperial, but most of the Imperial stuff is up there because of the size of that unit. Um, annoyingly, Boba Fett's down there. Um, I love that ship, so I'd like it higher up when I'm doing YouTube videos and stuff. And then just bits and pieces there. This is my little one stuff, where he comes down and plays with that. Um, 
this needs sorting out, but I've put my Republic there, which looks quite cool. And then, yeah, this is going to be where I do my, um, so I'll have the big Millennium Falcon there. Um, this is the sort of rebel sort of shelving that goes here. Um, I'm not 100% satisfied because there are a few pieces that just don't look right, but yeah, this is the setup at the moment. I seriously have not got long left um, from this day. I've got so much to do today. I go into town, watch football, going on a date night with the missus. Missus is paying for the date night, um, which is awesome. We're going to do some mini golf and then go out for some food, which is really cool. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm going to build the Millennium Falcon for about an hour. Then I've got to do some other little bits around um, the shop and Lego room and it's always Lego. Everything is Lego. I've all, my time is consumed by plastic and sometimes it's like a headache and sometimes it's just so cool to come down and chill out. But yeah, um, just like a bit of a filler video, just want to make sure you guys know what I'm doing with the setup and obviously building the big Millennium Falcon. So yeah, uh, thank you as always for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and hopefully soon I'm going to do like a full review of my first ever big UCS set and then I'll probably do like a um, Millennium Falcon with the A-Wing and X-Wing for like a cool little shot as well which would be quite awesome yeah so thank you so much for coming along and may the force be with you all cheers